who needs to step up for the dubs besides Draymond Green? Because we've talked about him a lot. Jordan Poole um, is disappointed as I am with the lack of impact Andrew Wiggins seems to have. The bottom line is he is out there defending. And we got to give him credit for that. And it ain't like he's scoring two points. Um, Jordan Poole has had a few moments. But the bottom line is he ain't that dude that I saw during the Denver Nuggets series. Matter of fact, he ain't show up that much against Memphis, um, you know, uh, Dallas. I expected more from Jordan Poole. Is he a killer, though? Was, That's my question. That's what I'm trying to find out. I thought yeah. so, which is why I have to retract what I said about Lethal Weapon 3. No, he ain't there yet. Yeah. He's not a and, serial and, killer. And, 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 see, and see, here's the thing that kills me about it, and I think it's important to point out. This is the NBA Finals. You know what you're going up against. You know how elite Boston's defense is, particularly in the half court. You got to push that ball up the court. You got to get open shots for yourself. You got to pull that trigger. He want to dribble too much. You can't do that against Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown and those boys. They ain't going to work. You can't do that against Derek White. You can't do that against Pritchard and them. Mm -hmm. The way Udoka has their defense constructed, the more you don't pass the ball, the more your spacing is off, the more you're dribbling, the more you're trying to create opportunities for yourself instead of utilizing the others around you to create opportunities, you're going to mess up. And to me, Jordan Poole has looked very, very, very ordinary. Again, that puts even more pressure on Steph Curry. Now, Klay Thompson took some of it off last night. Regardless of the fact that it wasn't some 41-point explosion with 11 threes, he still had 25 on six threes. We got it. He showed up, okay? That game. That game. That game. First he game he did that. First second, game. Second First game. game, too. Well, no, no. First game, you got to remember. He shot 419 in game two. Yeah. Okay? He got 419 in game two. He was shooting 30% from the field and 26% from the three point range coming into last night's game. So we got to look at it from that perspective and just say, wait a minute, man. Jordan Poole is supposed to be bigger than, better than this. Clearly, they're bigger and stronger, whatever. But you're a young blood, 22 years of age. You can shoot the rock, you can score. You know, you got to put it in. And I think he's got to step up in order to help them out. Mm, I think. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I, th I believe he has to step up. I believe their bench has to step up. I believe Draymond Green plays, I don't know, 34 minutes, only four shots attempt, no free throws, no steals. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously Clay played well, but Clay didn't play well last game. He didn't play well game one. Steph has been carrying the load for this Golden State team. I think you need a little bit of everyone to, uh, to step up. It's actually funny to me because, you know, a lot of people like to use stats. Well, the, you know, when playoff basketball, things slow down a lot more. It's actually not necessarily true. Like, the pace is about the same as the regular season. So, on top, like, Jordan Poole, like, I get it. He needs to step up averaging 10 points in the finals. I understand that. Young player, first time to the NBA finals. Right, that's what I'm also, going right. against dudes who play one-on-one -on -one every single day against right. each other. You're not going against the second-string guys. You're going against guys like Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, those rotations. You ain't going to dance like that. Draymond Green pushing the tempo of the game is something that needs to happen, Stephen. But they Nick. can't do that if you're taking the ball out. That's the thing. Well, you, you can't push the ball in transition. You still can't push the ball in second second hand transition, though. Yeah. And, and, and create the tempo of the game. But like he said, they would get to the hole at will. Well, you can't, so if you get I, to the hole at will, how are you going to push the pace up? Not only are they scoring, they're coming at you and they got you on your heels. You see what I'm saying? So if they got you on your heels and they scored, then all of a sudden you got to start all over again. It's like climbing uphill all the time. But this is back to time. your point. You're talking about extending the bench. Guys like Moody, Kaminga, you want to use them, increase the tempo of the game. Yeah. Increase the tempo of the game. But you'll need you, them to do it. I, I hear you. So I, I'm, I'm agreeing to your point finally, but all I'm saying is if you increase the tempo of the game, increase the number of possessions, try to get more out of secondhand transition, transition, that's where Jordan Poole will see the ball go in. Yeah. Then you're not taking half-court heaves from two feet outside the three-point line. That eases the game. At least got to find some chippies. They're not getting chippies now. That's the problem. It's half court settled in defense. That's what makes it hard for them to score at times. And they playing in Boston, too. Let's not forget about that. You think about a second-year guy coming to Boston trying to get, get it going. It's, it's tough, man. And those Boston fans, they're not letting go of anything. Those kids, they cursing you out. The, the old people cursing you out. The young people cursing you out. You know, you hear from everywhere. So, um, I mean, I, I didn't expect Jordan Poole to come here and be a finals yeah, yep. MVP or right. anything. But you I didn't expect more. that. But you expect I, I, did, I, I did not. Pat, did I expect I, more offensively I mean, from him? I mean, I, I, what? I mean, he really ain't really, ain't no, he really ain't really played against, you know, I ain't gonna say played against anybody, but like, the, it's a different set of animals who you're playing with now. 
Like he he going against some real animals right now. You know, yeah, I don't always expect and people who, who they were one way in the regular season to be who they are going to be in the postseason. I don't always expect that, especially no. for young players in the league. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.